Hello and welcome to Why Is That Trending, the show where an out of touch 38 year old man in a detached garage tells you about what's going on in the world. So today, GTA 6 leaks. On September 18th, a hacker going by Teapot Tube Hacker, nice name, released 50 minutes of GTA 6 pre-alpha footage on a GTA message board. And it's worth noting that some of the game's source code was visible in this footage. Many are saying that this is the largest leak in video game history and I'm inclined to agree with that statement, especially when you consider that GTA 5 was the most profitable piece of media ever created. And I don't just mean most profitable video game, I mean it brought in so much revenue it blew even the biggest movies out of the water. So yeah, a leak that contained footage and source code of that game's sequel is probably the biggest leak in video game history. Rockstar has put out a statement saying not only that the leaked footage is real, but that it was obtained by a third party, which means I believe that Rockstar got hacked. So this wasn't some disgruntled dev just releasing files that they had on their computer. They specifically state that there was a network intrusion. Someone got into their system, which really sucks. Now, if you're a dev that worked on this game, I'm really sorry this has happened. Obviously, you don't want people's first look at the game to be some clunky test footage. You want it to be like a polished trailer that people can get really amped up for. But if there was a silver lining to this situation, I would say that going through and reading the comments on the leaked footage, it looks like most people are just excited that the game is being worked on. Some people are even saying that this very early footage looks better than finished games by some of Rockstar's competitors. There is a much, much smaller number of comments that are saying negative things about the game, but honestly, I don't think this is anything to worry about. They basically fall into two categories. Category one of haters, I would say, is people that just don't understand how game development works. They're commenting things like, we waited 10 years for this not understanding that this isn't the finished game. As soon as the trailer for GTA 6 drops, I guarantee these same people will be commenting stuff like, man, I'm so glad they fixed GTA 6. It looked really bad in the leaked footage. Not understanding that they didn't fix it, they just finished making the game. So don't worry about those people, they're dumb. Now, the second category of haters is people that are just looking for any reason to hate on this game. These are people that are mad because they think Rockstar has gone woke. They saw the earlier leaks that said that the main character of the next GTA game was going to be a woman, and they got upset about it. They wanted to play as a man, and they think that having a woman main character is too woke. Or they read that Bloomberg article that said that Rockstar had issued a directive to avoid jokes that punch down. And they thought, oh, this is going to be the end of Rockstar. They're going to be all PC now. So the second category of haters is also nothing to worry about because they were going to find a reason to hate the game no matter what. It really doesn't have anything to do with how this footage looks. They've already decided the game is too woke and they're not going to play it and really nothing is going to change their mind. So just ignore these people. I'm also seeing some comments that don't really have anything to do with the quality of the game, but they're saying that Rockstar deserved to have this footage leaked because they've kept fans in the dark for so long. It's been almost a decade since GTA 5 came out and they're upset that they haven't seen any updates about the new game. And this is a really dumb take. Look, if you're a fan of the GTA series, you are not owed updates about the next game in the franchise in any kind of timely manner. They're not even obligated to make another GTA game. There's plenty of game studios that have just stopped making sequels to popular series. It sucks, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Someone hacking Rockstar and leaking a bunch of footage is not justice for Rockstar failing to release any updates on GTA 6. It's just some hacker being an asshole and trying to make money by either selling the source code to the highest bidder or ransoming it back to the company. Anyway, in the end, I don't think this leak is going to negatively affect hype for the game. I think all the real fans are eagerly awaiting the first official trailer and nothing has changed because of this leak. The haters are a tiny minority that probably already hated the game before the leak and weren't going to play it anyway. So if you're a dev, keep your head up, keep up the good work. I've spent many hours in GTA having a blast and I'm looking forward to what's next in the series and so are a lot of other fans. And now in why isn't this trending news, Dino Riders. You see, a long time ago there was a toy line and a comic book and, a, and an animated show about aliens that rode dinosaurs and fired lasers at each other. And Mattel owns the rights to all this stuff and, and they've done nothing with it. Why don't you make a board game, or a video game, or another animated series, or a live action series, I don't care, just do something with it. Now, I know I probably sound like a bit of a hypocrite here, because I, I just said that fans of something aren't owed a sequel to that thing, but I don't, I'm not, I don't feel owed anything. I just think that maybe the reason that Mattel, who owns the rights to all this stuff, hasn't done anything with it, is because no one's told you, no one's told you that we want more Dino Riders. So this is me telling you now, please do something with Dino Riders. That me and dozens of other people want it. My very real friend Sako, who's not a sock, was just saying the other day that he wanted some more Dino Rider stuff, so please make that. Alright, this has been Why Is That Trending, 
And also, why isn't that trending? If you want more of this stuff, leave a like or a comment or both. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a permanent series. I'm just, uh, you know, experimenting, trying out what I like, what I don't. It won't always be about video games, just whatever's trending. This is just what happened to be trending today. Oh, and hey, did you know that I'm doing a channel with Mari, Sohinki, and Joven called Ogsog uh, right over here? And uh, we've got a new video out. And also, if you want to see me playing some GTA with mods, uh, go ahead and click right over here. I did the Godzilla mod. Okay, bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and stuff.